Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, we continue with our topic of discussion and this is genetics. Uh, so today I would like us to discuss mutations. <coughs> Uh, mutations are spontaneous changes in the genetic makeup of an organism. Uh, for example, <coughs> uh, there are some environmental factors that may alter the genetic makeup of an organism, whereby uh, a very normal organism may produce some offspring that are defective. And that one can be explained uh, by mutations. On the other hand, uh, mutations has been witnessed in cases whereby, uh, for example, uh, insects develop resistance to a certain insecticide. For example, becoming resistant to DDT by the mosquitoes. So that is uh, because uh, as they become more and more exposed to, to that particular chemical, uh, they change their genetic makeup or their genetic makeup changes uh, in such a way that uh, uh, the future offspring are not affected by that particular uh, chemical. So basically we have uh, a number of causes of mutations that we shall highlight here. So but first of all, uh, we can say that mutations are spontaneous changes they are spontaneous changes in the genetic makeup of an organism. <clears throat> uh, these changes can be inheritable. They can be inheritable, uh, especially if they affect the gametes. If they affect the gametes. And of course we are saying that if they affect the gametes, they will be inheritable because gametes are transmitted from parents to the offspring. So if there is something that has happened in the gametes, then it's likely to be transmitted to, to the offspring. So you can have an example that uh, a hemophiliac child can be obtained from normal parents. Due to mutation. So a hemophiliac child can be obtained from normal parents due to mutation. So it's not automatic that uh, if the parents are normal, then the child will also be normal. There could be some mutations that have taken place in the parents, and those mutations can be transmitted to, to the child. <coughs> so the next thing that we uh, talk about is that uh, mutations are caused by mutagens. Mutations are caused by mutagens which include, so we have examples of mutagens. Mutagens are those 
substances that cause mutations. Uh, for example, we have ultraviolet rays, uh, exposure to ultraviolet rays for a long time can cause a change in the genetic makeup. Uh, we also have the gamma rays, we have x-rays, so all these are radiations that can lead to mutations. We also have chemicals, e.g. we have chemicals such as mustard gas, We have called chisin. So all those are some of the, uh, the chemical substances that uh, can lead to mutations. So we have both radiations and chemicals. So prolonged exposure to either of these can result in mutations. And we are saying that uh, the most significant mutations are those that affect the gametes. Because if they affect the gametes, they can be transmitted from the parents to, to the offspring. <coughs> now, organisms that arise from mutations are called mutants. So mutants are products of mutations. They are organisms that, organisms that have arisen from mutations or that have come up as a result of mutations having taken place. Now, <clears throat> uh, we look at the types of mutations. So we have basically two types of mutations and we have one chromosomal mutations, also known as chromosomal aberrations, chromosomal mutations or chromosomal aberrations. So th that, those are the mutations that affect the chromosome, either the chromosome number, the chromosome structure, or they affect the chromatids. The chromatids make a chromosome. So if the chromatids are affected, then that is a chromosomal mutation. We also have number two, gene mutations, or point mutations. And these are the mutations that affect the structure of the gene the change of the structure of the gene. For example, the change in the sequence of nucleotides. We learned about the components of a gene. And uh, if there is a change in the sequence of nucleotide, especially the nitrogen basis, then that one can result to gene mutation. So we are going to look at each one of them, uh, starting with the chromosomal mutations. <clears throat> so we are saying that these involve the change in the structure or the number of chromosomes. And these changes may either be advantageous or disadvantageous. May either be advantageous or disadvantageous.
So the chromosomal mutations include, they include one, there is what we call deletion, whereby a section of a chromosome, that is a chromatid, may break and fall off, may break and fall off, and then all the genes that were in that particular section that has broken and uh, fallen off are lost. So we are saying that uh, there is loss of some section. There is loss of some section of uh, a chromosome. So we have deletion, whereby a section of the chromosome may break and fall off, losing the genes that were located in that particular section. And if those genes were vital, uh, crucial genes, very important genes, then this can lead to death, or this one can be a lethal. <clears throat> so we want to illustrate that. So after mutation, we are saying that a section of the chromosome uh, breaks and falls off and then it is lost. So that section or the genes that were in that section, they are lost. So that is an example of a deletion. So you can have an assignment on this. <clears throat> so we are saying that the first question, what are mutations? Number two, name the causes of mutations. And lastly, number three, state the two types of mutations. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>